Ah, Prime Minister. Make sure that I'm presentable. Ah, you're always presentable. <laughs> no, I'm not sure. Uh, is it okay? Yeah, yeah no, it's okay. okay. Yeah. A familiar friend of South Africa, and that's the Dutch Prime Minister, Mark Rutte. And he was not alone as Pretoria also rolled a red carpet for another European leader, the Danish Prime Minister, Mette Frederiksen. Both countries are staunch supporters of the anti-apartheid struggle. The raging conflict in Ukraine dominated interaction between the three leaders. And President Cyril Maposa used the engagements to update some of the NATO members about what transpired in Russia and Ukraine during his recent visit there. Among other things, we called for a de-escalation of the fighting that's taking place in that part of the world and for negotiations to commence with a matter of urgency. We also called for the release of prisoners of war and the return of children who've been removed from their homes and their parents. And we also called for greater humanitarian support and assistance for those who are in great need. And we also said that the talks that should lead to a peace deal should also deal with the issue of the reconstruction post the war. We used the meetings to highlight the damaging effect that this conflict between Russia and Ukraine is having on African countries and economies, contributing to food shortages and the rise in cost of living. The Netherlands says it appreciates the opportunity to get a briefing about some of the banning issues. We're very fortunate to get the debrief from your visit to both Kiev and uh, to St. Petersburg uh, last couple of days. You just returned. Um, we, and we have to continue that conversation because that is important and uh, the role we can all play to, to stabilize uh, the situation but also to get more insight on what is happening here in Africa. And you updated us on DRC, on North Mozambique, but also the broader questions and, and opportunities uh, in Africa and particularly the fact that the, 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 the free trade zone is now being established and the effect that is having, having now. And, uh, very interestingly to hear that, that where traditionally for South Africa the relationship with Europe would be number one. The Danish Prime Minister Mette Frederiksen has stressed that strong democracies must cooperate to finding peace and stability. We have so many challenges in front of us. Uh, you are facing old and new conflicts on your continent. We are once again facing a war in Europe. And in none of those conflicts and wars can be handled without a strong cooperation between democracies. Uh, you have for, for more than 30 years now have been one of the strong supporters of uh, international rule-based international society. You are a very strong voice globally and in, in Africa and therefore we are here both of all to hear your perspectives. South Africa seems to be attracting a number of international envoys and even the French top diplomat is in town and she has hinted that President Emmanuel Macron may come for BRICS summits later this year. The French Minister of Foreign Affairs uh, conveys the uh, idea that President Macron would be happy to, to come and be invited. You know, we're not part of the BRICS, part of the group. We don't. We're not eager to join the group, but to join the conversation certainly is always useful. Just like they will be in Paris for most of them next week. No, this week, actually, it is this week. Uh, why don't we come to you if you come to us? Meanwhile, German Foreign Affairs Minister Annalena Babok is expected to come to our shores. And the Russia-Ukraine conflict will take center stage as well. Kyle Kumalo, SABC News, Pretoria.